welcome back to my channel i am going to teach you all how to do the um designing in canva to upload straight to sticker mule for your packaging tape okay so here's the one that i did it's missing my qr code on this one and i'm actually getting ready to work on a um custom order for someone else well actually miss precious over at Elise's Crafty Creations. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. I'll keep that there. So the first thing that I want to do is create her QR code. So I went and I got her um Instagram code, which is what she wants, and I'm going to generate that. For a sticker mule, your QR code has to be a certain size to for them they say that it's um for them to print it and make sure that it still works so i'm going to leave it the size that it generates on and usually i um they'll communicate that with you like oh that's not big enough or whatever so <clears throat> i actually had sent it to them separate that's why that one was blank i sent it over separately and i sent them the qr code and they put it the size they wanted it on so you can also do that as well. You can leave that area blank and then they can add it um, as well. All right. So the size that you need to set your rectangle to, give me one second here, is going to be 2.81 width and 4 in height. Okay. This is the actual size of the tape itself. All right. So now I'm going to go in here and upload her logo. It already has, it has a um, background on it. So I'm just going to edit that image here and background remove that because we don't want that white to throw off the marble. All right. And I'm going to make this much bigger by first bringing these in because it thinks that it's still that big white square and it's not. Okay. Next, I'm just going to, you know. Play with the sizing until I get what I like. Of course, I'm going to rotate that so that it matches. And I'm going to make this kind of big because we're not going to be adding a lot to our tape. <clears throat> it's so weird because I'm looking at the screen sideways a little bit. Um, all right. And so... Let's do this. I want this to be centered, and I kind of don't. Let's see which ones. I'll send her both options, and she can choose. So I'm going to just duplicate this so I have the centered one and I, the regular one. If I do the centered way, I have to shrink this a bit. And then this one will be the... Okay, so I'm going to turn my arrow to black to kind of match her logo colors here. There's a corner there, make that black. And then, of course, this will be gold. And it already gives you some colors to choose from. I'm also going to go ahead and put a shadow on this logo to give it some 3D. 3D the effects i really like that one um i also like backdrops so let's see and then we'll pick which ones we like the most i like that one see how it makes it look like it's lifted off the page i love that and i'm also going to do that to the wording as well Okay, and I'm going to change this up because this isn't a store, so I'm going to change it to scan here. Get started. Let's see how I like that. Or how she likes that, I should say. Scan here to get started. Um... 
This is my center one, so we're not going to move that. Actually, since I don't want to move that anymore, I'm going to go ahead and lock it with that tool up there. Just so that that way it stays put. I can't move it. I can't do anything to it. I can't type on it. All right. And we got the QR code. I'm going to move that just to make sure it doesn't get cut off. I'm going to go ahead and group these two things together. Actually, I'm going to ungroup really quick. I want to move this. Like such. Then I'm going to group. Actually, I can group them all together since it's a package deal. Okay, because I want to put a little, some wording at the bottom. So let's center this as well. And then this space right here, we'll put some text just to give it a little bit of shrink that I'm, or whatever they, whatever they say. All right, so here we're going to put what she sells. So I know she sells um, t-shirts, masks. Let me go and see exactly one more time. T-shirts, hair bows. I'm going to actually take it straight from the lion's mouth. Um, let me change this font because I can't even read it and I don't want... Okay, this will be fine for now. We'll come back and edit that. And we want it to be on one line for sure. Shrink that a little bit. I'm going to go and capitalize, you know, some things. All right, let's rotate that. And I am not at a full 90, so just make sure. No, I am. Okay. Um, I kind of like this font. I will, on the next one, I will put um, a different font just to give her a choice. The marble background on there looks gorgeous. Um, I wish, let's see how this looks in that gold color. Oh, uh, no. I'd rather do the black. All right, so I don't know. I don't need that. I am going to duplicate this one and delete this one. I definitely don't need mine. And the difference between the two is going to be the um, position of the logo which I liked the first one. Oh, I forgot, it's locked. <laughs> I locked that really quick. I'm over here like, why won't it move? Okay. So this one is gonna represent if we were to, we can make that bigger. Oh yeah, I was supposed to change the wording in this to um, um, let's see check out our work here I'm going to take put that on this there we go Yeah, oh, you know what I want to do? Let's give this some, some lift. You gotta put the lift on there or shadow, which one? Now that makes my that flew with my eyeballs. Okay, here we go. Put a little lift on there too. Lift, lift never hurts nobody. All right, I'm gonna lift these. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this font as well. I did say I'll provide a different font on this one. Um, she has a skinny font in her logo, so I definitely want to match the aesthetics 
with that. I don't want it to be crazy fonts all over the place. Let's, I don't want to just make my T bigger. Let's increase that a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, now, this is when I just go in with my accents and the elements. And I just add, you know, if it needs to be added, I'll add some more things. So you can actually search accents. Um, I honestly like the simplicity of this one. So I will add something to give an example for to provide to my customer but i really like the simplicity of this like the marble kind of gives it enough to make it not boring and then we got colors going on so okay so for the purpose of this video i won't um hold you all up anymore so now and it's crazy i'm trying to get this up as fast as possible because Right now, Sticky Mule is offering a deal. Um, I will post in the comment section or the info section my link to get $10 off of your first order. And I'm going to show you how to find their... They have deals. I think you have to be a member to see the deals. Oh, here they are. Deals. So right now, boom, y'all. Just today, right now, look, it says in the next 11 hours. So hopefully you got to see this video right when I uploaded it. If not, it's okay. They run this deal frequently throughout the month where they're offering one roll, only one. You can't go in there and try to get two, <laughs> only one for $19. There's usually $19 and they're offering for $9 and it's free shipping and they ship fast as heck. And no, I'm not an ambassador for Sticker Mule. So the only thing that I receive is $10 if you sign up with my referral code. But they do not provide me with anything for this video. Just a disclaimer. Okay. So from here, you will log in. Um, or, of course, if this is your first time making an account, um, you know, with the referral code and all that good jazz, you would do so. Y'all don't be trying to hack my accounts. Okay. And from there, you will go to the roll deal. You saw where I found deals at. I went to the bottom. If you're on the phone, it may look a little differently, but either way, they have the tab there. Um, order now. Of course, these are some of my old designs. You will choose a file. You will upload that file. Um, let me find mine since I didn't save it really quickly. Where are you? Okay. Let's just say we chose that one. All right. You will upload your file. You would, if you had any special requests or anything like that, you would do that. I'm going to go to continue. And you go here. So when you hit checkout, you will go through the whole checkout thing. And they'll, you know, they'll take your card information, but they will not charge you until you approve that design. They'll go back and forth with you. Their customer service is awesome. They'll go back and forth with you to make sure that you are completely satisfied before they give you, um, before they charge you and start the, the printing process, okay? But it's literally that simple, guys. You design it over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I didn't tell you how to save it. You will go to download. And if you want to download, if you have more than one page, make sure you pay attention to that. I'm going to download it in a PNG, high quality image. Um, and make sure you don't click transparent background and download it from here. And then from there, it'll be in your files where you would then upload it here and hit checkout. Super painless. Okay. So that is the end of this tutorial. Of course, if this was helpful for you, I would love for you to drop a comment in the box. If you noticed that I did something that could be done easier or you just want to leave some feedback, I'm totally open to that. If you want to get your label created because this is just not your ministry, which is, is okay. You, I will also include where you can start that custom inquiry for me to create your design as well. And um, I'll also include the referral link in the bottom 
or in the info section. And I think that's it. And I'm so sorry, guys. I know I have been missing from YouTube for so long. I apologize. Life and business has been taking over. Your girl got engaged. Woo -woo. And so I am in planning mode. But I promise you I will try to keep my content more consistent um, in the future. And we will, you know, thank you for sticking it through with me. If you're new to this channel, I hope that you are subscribed so that you will get the alerts. Because we're going to get this train back rolling. And as always, creativity is so contagious. So make sure y'all pass it on. And until next time, stay crafty. D checking out.